I am pretty excited to be introducing to you the Garmin X50i dive computer. This one is one we've been testing at Divers Incorporated for about a year now. This is a second or third one that we've gotten um, in the testing process. And this is um, one that I've been diving for a while. But if you open it up, you look, it's kind of big. It's a lot bigger than every other Garmin product. And I'm going to turn it on. And as it's warming up, I'm going to kind of just take you through the, uh, the whole steps of the basic thing. The X50i is going to be a game changer. It's got a lot going on in it. Um, I announced it, they announced it at DEMA and I kind of posted, but I've had one now for a bit. But the cool thing is, is that it's got like really cool straps and buckles and it's actually pinned and it's actually got holes in it. So if you want to put bungees in it, you can put bungees on it. The holes are right there. And uh, I'm going to kind of take you through step by step when with my helpful assistant, Natalie. Back up. You're going to hit the red because you're going to continue what I've got. Okay. Are we doing that? Okay, cool. So. Um, what we've got is the Garmin Descent um, X50i. It is got a transmitter you can get with it. It takes all of the transmitters, but the T2 transmitter, it does some really, really cool stuff with it. Um, come on over here, Natalie. Let's start with the look, look at the screen. So you, this is the, the main screen right here. This is a, a way that it starts out. Um, you have a bunch of different things in here. You have dive setup, dive mode. We start with dive mode and it goes in here. It's a touch screen. It's a sapphire crystal. Um, this is what mine looks like after about six months use and my last one looked exactly the same when we sent it back. But you have a, a single dive, single gas dive, a multi-gas dive, a CCR, and you have a gauge mode and you can bump through it. You can also toggle through everything. Um, I'll go back. Upside down, I don't know if I can go back. Dive mode, we're going to go into single gas mode to show you some cool stuff here. So you can pick it and this is what your settings are. Okay, so you've had a surface interval, you have a bottom gas, so it's, it's, and we're going to show you how you can change it by touching it. And then you, the oxygen is the same. Back, and we have helium, which we don't use, we're not using today. We're going to go that. Whoop. You can use the toggle buttons too to go up and down um, if you want. And you can also use the touch screen. Touch screen is a little bit more sensitive. Um, but then uh, back, we've got it, air. Maximum depth, salt water, fresh water, you can change that. Okay, change it here, fresh. Nice touch screen that goes through, back it out. And we've got it set up and we can view, view the setup. This is everything, back it out. And then we can hit confirm and now it's ready to dive. This is the dive screen. Some really cool things on the dive screen. This is going to not be changeable. So this is going to be the decompression information, but all of these fields, either now or soon, you will be able to move them over here. But all of these fields are completely customizable. I'm gonna show you how to do that. It's scrolled through through um, the, the scrolling screen, the compass. Um, it's got surface interval. This one will show you the graph of the dive as you're going. Um, and then you have, this is my transmitter, and you can put all the transmitters in here. Um, this is something cool here for this transmitter. If it's a T2 transmitter, it'll show you the depth of that transmitter and it'll show you the distance from your transmitter. So with this, it's mine, but if it was somebody else's, it would show the distance here away from me. And then it would show you the depth that they're at, which is kind of cool. And then I think that is, oh, this one's waiting for some comms on all the other stuff that I have in there. Shows me battery life, time of day, and uh, back to the main screen. Now I'm going to back out of this because I want to show you how to set it up. We can go to dive setup and we have this really cool thing that I want to show you where you can pick it. It's got all the same kind of stuff that, um, that the, the, the descent, um, Mark, uh, three has, but, um, it doesn't have a lot of, like, it doesn't have the, the, um, pulse ox and that, but it does have a lot more maps and, and, and it will be able to do a lot more of the different mapping. But you can pick which one you want to do. We're going to go into the single gas mode that we want and I'll do another um, one on the other ones later down the road. But this is the data screens and we can choose the data screens. You can choose the order of the data screens and you have a whole bunch of data screens over here at the side. So we can scroll down and we can pick um, the reorder data fields remove but I'm going to go into um, back and I'm going to actually add one. You're changing the data. Oh, I'm sorry. Back up. X out of that. I don't want to change that. Thanks. 
we're gonna go into, oh, I'm gonna go down, add new. So I'm gonna add a new one. I'm gonna custom the data and we can choose the custom data. And we have the ability to have a one field, a two field, a three field, a three field that's set up with a bigger bottom, four field, five field, and six fields. These fields can be anything that you want. You pick the field, oh, you hit check that I want this. Now it's choosing field one. You have basic, you can choose from all of these things that it'll show you, okay? Or you can go back here and you go to the next one. You can have technical, you can put all of those on the same one. You've got the sensors, you can put whichever sensors you want on there. And then you have the time. And then you have the subwave technology, which is all your air time remaining, everything coming from the, from the um, sonar. Um, this is my tank pressure. I can have what I want to show under my stuff. And I can do that for each one of the transmitters that's in there. But if I want to do like basic and put in maximum depth and choose field two, time to surface, choose field three, compass, temperature, and percentage battery. Okay. I think that's everything. Yep. And then I can hit yes. And now it's all on that screen. Pretty cool, huh? Anyway, that's just the beginning of taste. These are um, going to retail out at $14.99. We do have them at Divers Incorporated to show you, but these are our test models. And so we have them, you can try it on, you can see how heavy it is. It's got a lot of, a lot of weight to it. But um, also we're gonna be diving it some more. We still have some other things they're gonna be doing. Um, it does messaging, it does hot buttons, it does all sorts of the cool stuff. But then come on back over here, Natalie, we're gonna show you the, the stuff that I'm not that familiar with because I'm only really familiar with the dive stuff. But you have, what it really does is it does a mapping so it tells you where you are mapping wise back out oh that's something it has a light and it has the light that you can torch as a backup light it's bright enough to be a backup light and you can pick what you want it to do this is a bright light i can pick it to this one and then it goes a little bit dimmer and i can pick this it goes a flasher and then it does this three flashes and whatever you've got it set at is what you're gonna do. So mine is set for the brightest because I use it for everything. On this watch, I use it for everything. So, um, but we have in-reach remotes. You can use your in-reach in here to use it on um, that. Um, it, it has a typewriter, a key, keys typewriter to be able to make it a little bit easier to use. You have a compass if you wanna use it for just a compass. Um, and then you can put settings and stuff um, and waypoints and you can navigate with it. Lots of cool stuff coming with it, but um, that's, that's kind of exciting. So lots of neat, neat stuff. But that is the Garmin X50i um, from the Descent X50i. A um, little bit more on the uh, straps because I kind of just touched on them, but they have really cool straps. These are Garmin technology. And again, you can put a bungee on it if you want to. But these are going to be here before Christmas, we were told, if you get your order in now, but they are due um, to start shipping sometime in the next three weeks. So if you want to order one, reach out. And uh, if you want to um, see one, come see Divers Incorporated. If you have questions, put them in the comments below. And if you like this kind of stuff, I'm going to probably do a lot more segments on this watch as we go through the next week when I'm diving with it. So until next time, we'll see you.